what's up everybody welcome back to my channel this is sierra from sierra jonay thank you guys for joining me today so as promised here is like a part two to the sublimation video um that i did i posted a couple of days ago of me just converting my printer my epson 7710 to sublimation so as you can see, um, what you see on your screen is that I'm going to be taking this image here and hopefully with my printer, as long as everything goes right, I'm going to print this on to a 50-50 blend t-shirt. It's a gilded t-shirt and it's like a, it a dye blend It's what the little tag says on the inside. This is my first time ever doing sublimation. Um, and even trying it out so y'all y'all in for the ride with me we're gonna see how this turns out how this goes so all right so i have my image and i got paper i have sublimation paper i have everything i think i have everything that i need to pull this off so i have my sublimation paper that i got from coastalbusiness.com um i seen reviews on that it's pretty good paper as far as what I read. So this is my first time trying out paper from them. And I got 11 by 17. I got 100 sheets for like maybe 20 some odd dollars. The shipping was really fast with that as well. So I'm gonna test this out. I got me a big old roll of butcher paper from Amazon. I have some heat pressing tape um, or heat resistant tape that I wanna use as well. And my Teflon pillows. So. Y'all just stick around. Let's see how this goes. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to, I went ahead and took the Cameo out of the machine. So I'm just going to print it. I'm not going to cut anything. Um, I don't have any cut mat on. I want to go ahead and adjust the size. Hopefully you guys can see that. I want to take it down to 11 even and then by 17. So I'm going to go up to 17. So you can see the screen kind of moving out as it gets larger. Uh-oh. Okay, so I got it right at 11 by 17 inches. So let me just adjust my image. And from what I've seen, I'm just going to pull from the corner. I don't want it to be like weird looking. What I've seen, you have to mirror your image. So I'm definitely going to make sure that I Mary, y'all, I'm real nervous about this. I'm not even gonna lie. I'm real nervous. Pretty large onto my shirt. Um, it's an extra large t-shirt, so I want the image to be bold and to stand out. Okay, so I got the image to the size that I think is gonna look good on a t-shirt. So I'm gonna go ahead and, while I'm thinking about it, right click on this. I am using the Cameo 3 software. Um, the studio I am using that to print my image from so I want to flip it while I'm thinking about it and go ahead and flip it that way we make sure our image comes out correctly it's a normal print I'm not gonna cut I'm gonna go up to my little printer and double check my settings Get to the bottom tray like I want it to be the paper cassette I want to take it down to the A no, I'm sorry, the tabloid, which is the 11 by 17 inches. I leave the borderless off. I don't want any border on that. I want high quality. I want my vibrant colors. Okay, I wanna make sure I want everything high quality, premium everything, that way you know everything turns out nice and vibrant so those are my printing settings i got that ready now i want to set my printer up i'm using the rear tray as i stated before and with the epson if you know with the epson it took me a minute to figure this out but you just the little tab inside and pull it out to elongate it to the size of your so I'm doing the 11 by 17 
and there it is right there so I want to go ahead if I can get my uh, my little craft space is a hot mess okay so I have my drawer pulled out I'm go ahead and get my paper opened I do have my heat press right now I'm preheating to 400 degrees so as long as this prints out correctly and once that heat press gets up to desired temperature we should be, be able to go ahead and press this onto our shirt so let me just make sure I get the right side of paper up and the right side down because this paper that's the only thing I don't like about this paper it didn't come with any instructions on which side to print your image on I'm gonna take it as we're gonna print on the brighter white side this is a little more dull you guys can see that it's a little bit more brighter I'm gonna flip the brighter side down want to line it up it's on which it is y'all so let's start let's see how this goes yeah i hope this works okay i put my little thing out my little paper catcher okay so i'm gonna go back i'm over here back in my studio um sorry for the back and forth but i want to go ahead and hit okay making sure my settings are how i want them okay y'all it's printing so let's see Let's see how this turns out. All right, y'all. Let's see how it turned out. Use. I see people do use like foam and stuff like that. I'm going to use the Teflon pillow on the bottom of the heat press. I'm going to cut a piece of the butcher paper and put that on top of the Teflon pillow. I'm also going to cut two additional pieces to put one on the inside of my t-shirt so the ink does not bleed through and one on top of my actual image so bear with me i'll be right back all right y'all so here is the image completely printed out all right guys so i got my shirt onto my heat press I have my Teflon pillow and a sheet of butcher paper underneath it. I'm just going to press it for a couple of seconds just to get any type, any type of moisture out of the shirt. Let's give it a second. And I have a lint brush. I'm going to take and just run it through the shirt just to make sure I get any type of lint or hair or anything off of that shirt my butcher paper inside of the shirt just because we don't want that ink to bleed through so let me go ahead and do that now so like i said trial and error trial and error and please excuse my background my stuff everywhere let me go ahead it's a little hot but i'm gonna go ahead and get that paper in there so i can show you guys we're gonna, be, we're gonna see the, the final outcome together. We in this together, y'all. Let me press it just one more time. Let me go ahead and cover this up. Just don't want to burn my t-shirt since I do have my heat press at 400 degrees. Let's make sure I get any pressure, anything, any moisture. I'm sorry, out of that t-shirt. All right. I'm gonna take my image. I probably should go ahead and trim up that, but I think it should be okay. Let me just see. I want it about here. Make sure I get it as centered as possible. If you watched my videos before, you already know me and centering images does not work. But I believe that's centered enough for me you guys can see that got it on there and the extra piece of the hanging off is fine I have a 15 by 15 heat press so this is big enough this is big enough let me go ahead and sorry for the reach 
in the camera. I just put two little pieces down. Hope you all can see this. I'm gonna take another sheet of the butcher paper. I'm gonna cover up my image. I'm gonna press it for 45 seconds at 400 degrees. All right, y'all, here is the moment of truth. This thing is burnt. It's, it's fucking hot. Look at that shit. And it got ink on it. Let me put, look at this. Damn thing is hot. Huh. Why I look burnt? All right, guys, so this is what it looks like. My first sublimation t-shirt, okay? I am happy with it. Now, I might adjust the heat just by maybe 10 degrees because that is super hot. And it really burnt through the paper. You can see that's the yellow tint. It really burnt through that. But for my first time, I think this came out pretty good. Um, I might try like a white shirt next time, but I like the gray on it as well. All right, so I'll be back next time with more sublimation videos. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, if you have any suggestions, leave them down below. I always like feedback if you know something I can do a little different. If you have the Cosmos ink. Uh, if you converted your printer, let me know down below. And I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.